Hello candidates, this is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote and we wanted to invite you to create and manage your own candidate profile here on our voter engagement site, winmyvote.com. So the way the site works is that voters can sign up for free with just an email address or social media account and without entering any personal information, just a zip code, we can create for them their own online interactive sample ballot for their upcoming election. So there's lots of things that I can do here on my site. Um, as a voter. I can uh, reference or I can find out about my voter registration status. I can apply to vote by mail or vote absentee. I can check on my voting districts. I can reference what we call trusted sources, which are groups and organizations that have made endorsements for candidates and propositions. Um, I can find my polling place. I can type my address in here and it will give me a nice uh, Google map with turn-by-turn -turn directions as well as office hours uh, for the polling place. Um, I can you know, reference important dates leading up to this election like when and where early voting starts. I can also add this online ballot in any one of my online calendars so I can get reminders in my own calendar. I can print out the ballot. I can print out just my favorite. I can share on social media. I can create a group which is very similar to like a Facebook group uh, and I can make endorsements there and then share those with friends. So um, the way that it works from a candidate standpoint is that the candidate can build uh, their own profile. So what we do is that we create sort of a limited uh, profile uh, for the ballot, mainly for the voter, um, and then we've opened it up uh, and allowed the candidate to then make that candidate profile as, as robust as they would like, and then they can start, you know, really campaigning directly uh, to the voter. So uh, I'll give you an example of that by uh, clicking on a candidate profile. Uh, so you can see here uh, that we have some kind of basic information. You can see full bio. You can read a little bit more uh, about the candidate. You can visit the candidate's Facebook page or Twitter account. And again, I apologize that I'm in sort of an admin mode. That's why you see those edit buttons popping up, um, that I'm essentially a candidate right now as well with permissions. So as a candidate, that's how you would uh, see your profile, and that's how you would edit it. You could just click on the Facebook um, uh, link here, put your Facebook uh, URL in there, uh, and then you know hit save, and then it would just you know go right to the, your Facebook page uh, when a voter clicks on that. Same with Twitter, uh, and then same with all of these. You can put an image in here, text in here, video. We use YouTube Share URL there, and you just do a cut and paste, hit save, and then that video will play there uh, in real time. Uh, same thing for these sort of issue statements. Uh, you just click right here, title it. You can put any kind of text that you want in. Uh, you can make it bold or italic. You can change color. Uh, you can add links, uh, images, even embed videos there. Uh, and then you can also choose an image or a video to be here in the thumbnail. So again, we use, we use the YouTube share URL. So you can just do a cut and paste of that in there. Uh, and then as a voter, I would simply, you know, click on uh, the uh, thumbnail and then watch she the video. She was only 27 years old, and already she had experience with presidential impeachment, campaigning, migrant worker issues, children's defense, working with low-income families, and now teaching law at a university. And I can also uh, see groups and organizations and individuals that, that have endorsed this candidate. So I can click through these. I can also just click up on see all. Uh, and then if I wanted to see if they have a written endorsement or a video endorsement, I can click through there. For the better part of the year, I've been talking about the dangerous and divisive Republican nominee for president. And we did. But it's a bad deal for America's workers. She put forward the most aggressive plan for infrastructure and if everything sounds good with this candidate, after I've gone through all the other candidates and given them a couple minutes each, I can then favorite the candidate that I like best, which would be here, or I can go back to the ballot, and I can favorite the candidate just by clicking on the star. So if I change my mind, I can unfavorite the candidate, and then if I wanted to...
favorite this candidate, I would click on the candidate. You would see that that candidate moves to the first position and this nameplate turns green, which makes it really easy for me to see on my cell phone or tablet. I can also see the percentage here. This is the percentage of favorites that the candidate has on this ballot. So uh, these numbers are actually real. We used uh, this ballot for the national student parent mock election, uh, which was about 5 million teachers and students uh, throughout the country. And this was the California uh, presidential ballot. Um, so these numbers are real, so me favoriting this candidate won't change that percentage because uh, there's, there's too many numbers. But in the early stages, you can really track your progress uh, and, and see how you're doing. Uh, so the real value in win my vote isn't so much uh, up on the top of the ballot where uh, these candidates are spending lots and lots of money and, and you know people have a pretty good feel for um, you know how they're going to vote. Uh, it really benefits the candidates that uh, are running in the Board of Supervisors and the and sort of the down ballot um, races where the money's not that, uh, you know, there, there's not as much money spent uh, there uh, and raised there as well uh, and the voters really aren't exposed to the candidates in the lower races. Uh, so now here I can, you know, give each one of these candidates a couple of minutes uh, just to kind of hear what they have to say and, and give them a chance. Mike Young for District 7 Supervisor, Harvard Berkeley Lowell graduate, former U.S. Army Infantry Officer, former U.S. Diplomat under Colin Powell and Hillary Clinton, pushing for more community policing. All right. Um, and it looks, I know that he has a, a big Chinese community in his district. Uh, so again, this is a really effective tool uh, for someone that can just go on here and click and watch the video. Uh, and then if I decide I want to vote for uh, Mike Young, I click his star there and then when I go back to my ballot, uh, you can see he's now moved in that first position and it's green. Again, I can easily see this. I can print this out. Um, and then uh, down here, the national student parent mock election, obviously uh, we didn't do down ballot and city council races. So you can see the significance there. Uh, although this is just a, a demo ballot. Uh, but you can see you know, quickly uh, the percentage there uh, and, and how he's doing. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Again, we build uh, profiles from what we can find uh, on campaign pages and Facebook pages and that type of stuff. Um, but as a candidate, you can also uh, just sign up uh, you know, yourself and build your own candidate profile. Uh, you can go here, just click sign up as a candidate. You'll walk through this real simple uh, sign up. It'll bring you to a ballot. You choose the race that you're going to uh, run in and then you can start building your uh, profile. Uh, it's $99 uh, per election. Um, whether that be you know one month away or, or two years away uh, and we also um, ask you to make sure that you uh, enter in the payment information that can be connected to your campaign so that we can verify that you are the candidate that you say that you are um, and that makes it just much much easier um, hopefully that helps also feel free just to send me some content some videos and that type of thing and we'll try to get those up um, you know as soon as we can thanks a lot bye bye